Here is your top 10 list for the hardest tech 3 vehicles to free mark, no premium tanks, no reward vehicles, simple tech 3 tanks available for everyone, which gives you quite a nice indication which tech 3 lines are doing good, uh, might be worth grinding, are performing good on the battlefield, or which tanks, you know, fire the most premium rounds. So wink wink, let's go. First up, Object 268 version 4, tier 10 Soviet Russian tank destroyer, also known as Popject. When it was first introduced, it was the most overpowered tank in this game and after only 6 months of collecting data, they nerfed it, it is still very, very good, it has the mobility, it has the firepower, it has the armor, it is Russian, I mean, what more do you need? Another object, 277 Fast, one of the fastest heavy tanks in this game, it is more like a heavy medium tank and this seems to be the direction where the game is heading, you know, mobility, mobility, maneuverability, firepower, all those things combined, this vehicle has it, 4318 combined damage, average damage needed, this is how fern marking uh, works, you know, you need to deal damage and also assistance, it uh, adds them together and this is what players are coming up with on average what you need to free mark this tank so object 277 not surprised to see this one over here at all but you guys might be surprised to see what is top one <laughs> Wait, is this another heavy medium? We Z111 model 5A tier 10 Chinese heavy tank 5A Basically identical vehicle to the 277, same playstyle, you know, mobile, it has some armor, it has very punchy gun, and the third mark requirement is basically the same as well, 4379 average damage, combined damage needed. It is definitely not low, but if you manage to not blow up every other game and if you extinguish all the ancient fires, this tank might be for you. Oh, the absolute beauty, Leopard 1, tier 10 German tank destroyer with extremely fast mobility, extremely accurate gun. Many players think this is what World of Tanks should be. You aim at something and you are actually going to hit that more than 50% of the times. 4485 average combined damage needed to free mark this tank, but if this happens and if the enemy tanks do not know how to destroy armorless medium tank, then I would say it is not that hard of a thing to complete. Either way, Leopard 1, much love, only love. <laughs> STB-1 in place number 6, completely opposite tank gun handling wise to the Leopard 1, because this tank... Oh boy, sometimes it can surprise you with the derpiest gun from mid to long range, let's put it that way. But overall in close range, hull down with some heat, just to warm up the enemy tank to you know a bit more. This tank does some work, definitely. 4553 average combined damage needed. It has mobility, not a lot. It has gun depression. The best, basically. It has some armor, but only in hull down. It may seem like an easy tank to play, but it actually needs some finesse from the player to take the maximum out of it. Otherwise, you will get into quite a bit of a trouble. And this tank doesn't forgive many mistakes. <laughs> Moving on. Ding 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 ding. This is the sound. Super Kong hears a lot actually, or you hear a lot when you're playing with Super Kong, especially in Hull Down. 4,615 average combined damage needed to free mark this tank, tier 10 British heavy tank. When they first introduced it, it was one of the best, if not the best, uh, 
Tech 3 heavy tanks in this game before Chieftain was introduced, of course, before 279E was uh, introduced, which, you know, took that to uh, a whole another level, but it still is. Uh, the gun is just uh, so freaking beautiful, together with hull down armor and uh, many times extremely trollish uh, uh, hull armor as well. Very highly performing tank, you can't go wrong with it. It is actually, I would say, quite hard to do bad in Super Kong, simply because you're able to dish out damage quite fast. Bam, bam, slam, thank you, ma'am. <sighs> Top 3. Vroom, vroom, vehicle. Let me just show you this first clip, guys. And let's talk about CS63. Ah, oh, poor Manticore, one-shotted, basically one-shotted, Ram plus shot and in the garage in under 30 seconds on mines, beautiful. CS63, 4639 damage requirement for this vehicle to free market, which introduced a brand new feature or a mechanic to the game, switching between two engines. One gives you better mobility versus gun handling, the other one better gun handling versus mobility. Uh, it is, I would say, more for, this tank is more for a better players as it is kind of new tank as well, I would say. This is why it is in the top 3, played mainly by above average players, uh, but it still is not the worst tank, but at the same time it is very good tank, but at the same time it is not uh, the best tank in this game. So watch out, it, it is something for above average players. <laughs> Grand one, tier 10 Swedish heavy tank, absolute hull town beast. I would say this was Wargaming's best rework, one of the best reworks ever. This tank was not very popular, not wa was not very played, and when they removed one shell, increased the alpha damage, and made the gun handling better, it is one of the most played vehicle inside the ranked battles. It is one of the most played vehicles in random battles, and it has one of the highest third mark requirements in this entire game. 4832 average combined damage needed if you want to get free mark of excellence duct tape ribbons on the barrel. You can just see what this tank is capable of doing. It is an absolute nuisance to take out, it is a huge pain in the ass, but at the same time it slaps like non-stop. Kranvan, good job. And now, ladies and gentlemen, team number one hardest tech three tanks to free mark is... Drum rolls. It may surprise you. Manticore, yes, tier 10 British light tank Manticore is actually the hardest tech 3 tanks to free mark, at least officially right now on August 17, 2021, while I'm recording this video, while I'm making this episode. It may be dethroned by the newest tier 10 WZ, uh, more about that in a second, but yes, Manticore, the tank I used to talk uh, uh, quite badly about, um, it is, it turned out to be a tier 10 ELC, ladies and gentlemen. Why it is over here, why it is the hardest tank to free mark is because of its camo and view range combination. It its ability to stay hidden, its ability to, to stay sneaky, to keep enemy vehicles spotted and to rack up crazy amount of assistance because 5164 average damage needed, average combined damage needed to free mark this tank, it is the only detector vehicle right now officially with over 5000 requirement, right? But uh, out of that 5000, the main, the huge portion is of course assistance via spotting, mainly via spotting issues, via spotting and tracking, but mainly via spotting. Because it has absolutely atrocious DPM, it has DPM lower than on many tier 4 tanks as a tier 10 vehicle. I'm not kidding over here, ladies and gentlemen, but right now, officially, it is the hardest extra vehicle to free mark, unless uh, this guy is going to dethrone it uh, with its average, which should be around uh, 5,100 to 5,250. It is somewhere in the middle of that, but we have to keep in mind a couple things. It is a brand new vehicle, it has not been in the game, not even for a week, and it is uh, mainly played only by the best players in this game. So, is it going to stay that high? I honestly don't think so, but where is it going to drop? Uh, I would still say it is going to be in the top five definitely in the top 10 but I would say top 5 where exactly only time will tell. 
Ladies and gentlemen, top 10 hardest tech 3 thanks to Freemark in front of you. Let me know how many of them do you have Freemarked. And um, I hope you enjoyed. I get you next time with something else. Stay awesome, stay sexy, take care and bye.